Hey, I'm Serge from Sister Slafan. Welcome to back to my channel. Uh, so today I have to uh, I have an appointment to change uh, my my wheels. Uh, so in Switzerland, as you know, um, we often have to change wheels. You can have all uh, all year wheels, but uh, usually they perform a little bit uh, less well than uh, the uh, specific wheels. So I still have this is June 2020. I still have my winter wheels on, uh, not because I chose to, but just because with the confinements and um, and basically uh, your master, which is where I. I go to have the wheels changed and stored. Um, they're very booked uh, because a lot of people have waited, uh, had to wait during the confinement. So uh, one of the things, I had a question in the comments about uh, the consumption of the car. So one of the things we're going to do today is uh, we're basically going to try to compare the consumption of the winter wheels and the summer wheels, see if it makes any difference. I really don't know. Um, I'm not expecting a big difference, but who knows, uh, we'll see. Um, one of the things we'll have to look at is that we'll have to look at the tire pressure uh, because I know that's a more important factor and unfortunately here I won't have time to adjust the tire pressure so we'll look at the differences but we'll take into account the fact that tire pressure will be quite different uh, at least I'm assuming so. All right let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the uh, tire pressure. Oh, I don't get it now. So I'll have to look at it as we're driving because uh, right now it doesn't give it because the tires are uh, cold. And uh, yeah, we'll look at the consumption also. All right, let's get on the road. Okay, so the tire pressure has shown up. Uh, it's at 3.2 bars on average. There's one that's at 3.1. You can see it here in the lower corner. So I think I remember that's like what I had uh, pretty much the whole time. Uh, so I think that should be okay um, and we'll see with the, uh, the difference with the uh, new wheels uh, see if it makes a difference in terms of tire pressure so what we're going to do now is going to go on the highway and we're going to do a quick look at the consumption on the highway uh, you have to know that on electric cars uh, basically in town uh, it's different than for electric um, that for uh, gasoline cars, um, you consume usually a lot more on the highway. So sustaining that high speed is gonna uh, use more power uh, than having a slow uh, speed. So. All right, so we're gonna start now. And we'll do the exact trip, uh, same trip on the way back. Uh, so we'll get hopefully, uh, it's not the exact same trip, it's the way back, but we should get a similar profile, I hope and it's reasonably flat and there's not too much uh, hills. All right, so let's get it on. Let's try to reach 120 so that we're on a nominal consumption. So we're still pretty high out here on the consumption at uh, 207. Because we're still accelerating. Okay, now we've reached 120 and hopefully and it's a little bit downhill so on the way back we'll be a little bit uphill so we'll have to take that into account so now we've gone below the typical As you can see, the consumption is pretty low. Fortunately, it's hard to read with, uh, with that um, view. I'm not sure we can see another view. Tire pressure is still the same. So you can see now the consumption is, is very stable. That's because we're maintaining our speed. That's really amazing with uh, uh, electric engines. Now we're slowing down, so we're doing regenerative braking, which is actually going lower. Um, Unfortunately, I'm not gonna, so we'll have to keep this point here as our reference. Um, okay, so we are here uh, to change the wheels. So what I need to do now is I need to make sure that I'm turning off all the alarm systems uh, because I don't want that to go off uh, while the car is uh, being mis um, maintained. So I'm not sure if I could use valid mode, but I think I'll prefer to do it manually uh, so nothing uh, turns on. Uh, so let's go do that quickly. So if I go here into safety and security, 
So I want to make sure um, sentry mode is off. And I want to turn off the security alarm. The tilt intrusion is also turned off. That's good. And I think that's mostly it. Yeah, all right. So, um, and now we're just looking at the uh, consumption. So basically, this is the typical consumption you see on the highway. I'm below it. Um, I just can't get a read of this data point, which is a shame. So you can see my average over 50 kilometers is 192. Here it's at 209 for 10 kilometers. Um, yeah, so unfortunately I can't read that. That's a nuisance. I'm assuming this is the 200 line, because that's the 400. So here we're a little bit past halfway. So a little, a little bit of over 100, I would say. Uh, maybe 120, 130, which is the nominal consumption of the car. OK, I got to go to my appointment to change the wheels, and um, we'll talk afterwards. So we've had the car service and uh, the wheels installed. But uh, before I... Um, uh, go on the highway to test uh, what happens. Uh, I have to reactivate a few things because um, you're a master. These guys, they say they experience with Teslas, but I'm not sure I believe it. Um, so what I had to do was turn off a lot of things uh, in the safety and security. So what we're going to do now is turn it all back on. Um, there is one thing I didn't, I didn't activate. Uh, now, but I activated previously, so which is the pin to drive. You really should use this. Of course, I'm not going to show it on camera because I won't show you my pin. So one of the things I had to turn off was the security alarm. So I'm going to turn that back on um, because you never know how you will, it will trigger. I also had to turn off the tilt intrusion that actually turns off automatically with uh, the security alarm. Um, I think sentry mode was off, so we'll turn that back on. Um, and I think that's it for this part. Yeah. Now on the service, uh, I don't know if they did the, um, the wheel configuration. We'll have to see um, if the, the uh, uh, car registers uh, the, um, uh, the TPMS sensors. And uh, what else am I forgetting? Locks. Yes, in locks. I deactivated the walkaway door lock, but it seems like that, that came back. What I had to do is I also had a problem. I cleaned the screen with some uh, uh, product that was electrically statically charged, and it made a big mess up with the car. I had to restart the um, uh, the screen because I mean the the computer because uh, the screen was confused. It was kind of locking all the time. So be careful what you use to wash on this. Um, I would say if you use some kind of uh, product, I would recommend product for window cleaning uh, because that seemed to do it. And then I passed the um, uh, microfiber wipe that comes with the car uh, and restarted. I, it, but th without restarting, it was still giving me uh, some weird things. Okay, so now let's see. We don't have the, um, the TPMS sensors here. Hopefully, they'll show up on the, as we start driving. So I just want to check that I have all my settings back um, to normal. I think that's all I deactivated. Um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's, oh, and we have the tire pressure here in bar and PSI. I keep it in uh, bar, but uh, we could switch it to PSI. Okay, so all the other settings should be exactly the same as uh, the ones I had before. And now let's go on the highway and see if um, we can see any difference in terms of the energy consumption. We still have uh, this indicator here. Uh, so that was our, um, our performance there. We'll try to uh, keep that on there so that we can compare it. All right, let's get on the road and let's see how we do. Okay, so here we're just going to get back right back on the highway. So here what I'll do is that I'll actually accelerate quickly. And we'll see how that does in terms of consumption. It should be pretty high. So that 
went really from <laughs> from one color to the next. Okay, so now we're uh, on the highway again. And we're gonna pass some cars. You still, oh, what was that? Oh, okay, so uh, that was the uh, line change timeout uh, elapsed. So that's the biggest nuisance in terms of regulation. Uh, that needs to stop. Um, this is because of these EU regulations that say if you can't pass in less than five seconds, then it cancels it. And so I could have passed, but there was a car coming also, so the car canceled it. Now, now what's nice is that when it cancels it, it doesn't jerk you like it used to, which was really scary. Okay, so let's see here. We have a little bit less traffic in this direction, and the road is flat. So we'll see if we get a better uh, consumption here. We're still a little bit high. Actually, I had the the range was set to this. I think. All right. So now we're down underneath a hundred. I would say we're pretty close to the other other. Um, so halfway there is um, is a hundred. So we're a little bit above the middle there. So here I have to slow down again because of the construction and I have to get out. But as we can see, we, we did reach, I think it was a little bit higher um, than before, um, but a plateau that's around 100 and, well, maybe 130, something like that, which is what should be expected um, on, let's say, flat conditions, not too much wind. And of course I do have the AC on, so, uh, I didn't check how much that, of a difference that makes. We could do that on another uh, video, maybe. All right, let's get out here. Okay, so that's it for our uh, comparison of consumption uh, between the uh, two uh, different set of wheels. As we saw, there's not much difference, especially since these were not big distances. Um, I didn't wasn't expecting much of a difference anyway. Okay, if you like this video, make sure to put a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified when I release my next video. And of course, uh, if you'd like to purchase one of these cars, I highly recommend using a referral code. I'll put mine in the description below and that way you'll get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharger and so on. All right, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.